update five on major hurricane Gaston, which now has winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure of 962 millibars confirmed by Force 13 SADOPS, moving northwest at four miles per hour. Its position now 30.7 north, 55.1 west, and the storm is continuing a slow movement to the northwest and a little bit of a jog to the west is expected um, and is probably occurring as it continues its slow trek north and then eventually it will begin to accelerate off to the northeast, uh, hopefully by day two, definitely by day three, and then it will approach the Azores by the end of this week. Um, the threat to the Azores is not really known at this time. It's probably going to be low, but people in the Azores should watch out just in case. Bermuda's threat is pretty much over, uh, though you never know what might happen, but it appears that Bermuda is safe at this point. Moving on to the warning areas, and you can see here Bermuda just about scraping the left-hand side of your screen as the storm continues off to the north, and then the turn to the northeast by Tuesday at the latest, and then it will continue out over the open waters. Don't you can't see much into Wednesday because the storm's way out at sea, threatening no one but ships, and then. Eventually by the end of the week, Thursday into Friday, you'll see the Azores start to fade into the watch area by the time we reach the end of the week and at least half of the Azores will be in the watch area by then, we anticipate. Sea surface temperatures, um, fairly warm at this point, still certainly enough to sustain a storm like this. And just a note about the Azores, by the way, uh, the trend, it, the, the, the uh, forecast is trending towards the islands at this time, just something I need to mention there. Uh, but the, the um, sea surface temperature is looking decent for another day or two at least. Wind shear, it's sort of in a line of low wind shear and decreasing, so it could be looking good at least in the short term. Uh, I guess the longer it stalls the better in one way, but then the sea surface temperatures will decrease, so maybe not. Um, dry air, there's a pocket of it to the north, you'll see that better in a little while. Uh, further south you can see a lot of dry air over the central tropical Atlantic as well, which is something of note maybe in the days and weeks ahead. But let's take a look at the latest satellite imagery of Gaston and how it's become a Category 3 storm. And it has, look at that, the eye popping out and becoming the most well-defined it's been so far. It looks excellent on the visible, which unfortunately we don't have at this point, uh, but I encourage you to take a look at it. Um, and the um, cloud tops around it looking pretty decent as well, into the low minus 70s, which is just enough to scrape Category 3 status. Just look at that, the yellow areas just off to the north there, that was dry air, and that could possibly prove to be an issue as time goes on. Um, so, there's the latest infrared image of Gaston uh, in the wide shot, Bermuda on the left, uh, under no real peril by the looks of it, certainly not by any rainfall, and you can track this and all the other systems in the Atlantic on Force 13's tracker. Off to the left, Tropical Depression 8 has formed, that's that blob over there. Um, though it has been fizzling out in the last few hours, we'll be monitoring it slowly. The, uh, uh, surely the National Hurricane Center says it will become a tropical storm. And off to the left, even further off shot, is 99L. Gaston is one of 50 tropical storms to form around the world so far in 2016. 21 Category 1 hurricanes or higher, and Gaston propels us into double figures for Category 3 major hurricanes, 115 miles per hour plus. It's the second lowest, but it's a start. Uh, with the peak of the season in the Northern Hemisphere still yet to come, it's going to be interesting. It's running at about average. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets, the website force13.com and its forum. Also, you can uh, follow us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13, all in text. Or you can add Fool 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat at any time. That's f 13 um, We'll be doing another update on Gaston tomorrow, I anticipate at either 3pm or 9pm UTC. Stay tuned, that's all for now.